Hey guys, what's up? It's Lucy. Um, today's video is kind of intense. Um, not really. I mean, actually, yeah, because like no one really talks about this. Um, anxiety and panic attacks. Um, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how I wanted to make a video about panic attacks um, because I suffer from them. I've had about three in the last nine months. Um, which is like kind of a lot considering how much of an emotional toll they take on you but I feel like at this point I have quite a lot of like information to share about it and I don't know if you suffer from them or if you've ever had one and you haven't been able to put a name to it I just wanted to like kind of explain it um, bring light to it if you haven't ever experienced it uh, so yeah and the thing that inspired me to talk about this today is um, if you watched my last video, you know that I'm like obsessed with Logic's um, albums and his newest album, Everybody. That's like honestly, I think one of the like most well written and like uh, like most creative album of all time. But um, in that album, there's a song called Anxiety, but um, the X is a Z. And I was listening to it last night and I have never been able to relate to a song more in my entire life. Um, if you like hip hop or rap, I highly recommend listening to it, but like really listening to the lyrics, um, cause I think what he's saying, like, I, oh my God, it's amazing. And he basically just like talks through like when he had a panic attack and I literally like, I, I just felt for him. And I realized that like a lot of people can't or like have never experienced that so yeah basically like one thing that all my panic attacks have had in common is um the fact that i have been out of control of the situation i was in um and it kind of like took me a while to realize that because i didn't really like know why this was happening to me and then i realized like i kind of freaked out when i didn't have control of what was going on and i know that when this happens when like um I'm in like whatever situation and I don't have control over something and I'll like bite my nails or I'll like pick at my face because like I get like I need to have control of something and so I like pick little things but like when you have a panic attack it's like those don't suffice it's like an OCD thing it's like obsessive compulsive it's like sometimes I will like compulsively make to-do lists or compulsively bite my nails because it kind of like gives you a sense of relief but it's like not healthy um but when you have a panic attack you can't you uh, personally for me like I can't really find that and um there is no warning for when this is gonna happen and that is really hard because last time I was like walking around London with my family and I just broke down like I just started becoming very overwhelmed like it's, it's it's like I can't think it's like I cannot access my thoughts which is like insane and it's like I can't process the situation and it, it, it makes you really overwhelmed and it feels like a burning or your, your chest is like really tight like that's just like a feeling I always feel it's like my chest is so tight and I'll like push on my chest to try to like give me some relief but like it doesn't work and like the thing is is like even when you have a panic attack like even like slow breathing for me like breathing from your diaphragm that like doesn't help me you know just because I am in this state of panic and you you you, it's so hard to get out of oh my god but um usually I start crying like after I get very overwhelmed it's just like this feeling like I'm gonna start crying but like I have no idea why and that's like a big thing it's like I will be in this state and I'm like I am so upset and crazily anxious right now but I don't really know why like like there's certain situations that can trigger things but like not like that's the thing it's like i know it's like irrational almost but like you can't control it um and the time before the last time i had a panic attack so the time before london was um i was just like in my room i was like stressed about school and stuff and it was like six o'clock and i started having the panic attack and it lasted till it was bad till like eight o'clock and then i was still feeling anxious till like midnight and then 1 a.m 
Um, and then I like finally fell asleep, but I had to miss school the next day or like miss my class and like miss my tests that I was like prepping for because I couldn't prep because I literally had a panic attack. And that's the thing is that these thing that these panic attacks are so overwhelming and they literally just like control you and consume you. And I don't have, I mean, like I, I don't have control of it when it happens to me. And th that's what I've been like working on. Like I have medication, but it like, it's hard. And I have a video actually from the time before the last time I had a panic attack. Um, because i wanted to remember it and like i guess that's what i do in like a lot of situations i just like record myself or like record the people around me because i want to like remember them whether it's good or bad um so i took like a photo booth video of me uh yeah warning i'm like bawling crying <laughs> um So yeah, like, I don't know if you can hear in that video, I, I might put like subtitles or something, but I was basically like just freaking out. And like the fact, it was like so overwhelming, the fact that like I couldn't get any of my work done because I was so anxious. And so then I would have to miss a test and like this. And that's the thing that I don't think a lot of people understand is like how much school like I miss because I'm so anxious and like what an emotional toll panic attacks take on your body. Because like for me, it takes like, four to five hours to like recuperate after a panic attack um and like the hard thing is is that like there's no like explanation really for what's happening i guess other than a panic attack or anxiety attack um so like last time i was like around my family like my extended family and it was like very difficult because i, I didn't know what to say and none of them could none of them understood what was happening and i just felt embarrassed because i was like bawling crying but i didn't really have a reason to be so it was like i didn't know what to say and they didn't know what to say and i was just kind of like i'm having a panic attack like i don't and all they could do is just like be there and like be supportive and like i don't it's not their fault that they couldn't understand but like the thing is, is like if you've never gone through something like that like you can't understand and the thing is is that like there there are little things that can like trigger it such as being out of control of a situation or like not having proper like techniques to calm you down if you're like already anxious and you're in like a very busy setting like crowds sometimes can like trigger me um if I, I think I find like meditation helps because it makes you more centered so that can kind of like I don't know balance you I guess but um yeah it's like <laughs> they suck panic attacks like they are horrible but there are things that like can help you and if you have ever like suffered from one of these or if you've had them like like a few times i highly recommend seeing a doctor or something because that's not normal i mean like once or t like you know occasionally if something like triggers it and you're like oh that makes sense i was in a very difficult situation then but like if you've had it like a few times and like there aren't really like very distinct triggers for why it happened i highly recommend seeing someone whether it be a psychiatrist or a therapist because they can not only like prescribe you medication if you need it like i need it because i need something to like literally tranquilize me when i'm in that state because like there is like oh my god but i didn't i don't always take it when i have one though but they can also like talk you through it and if there is some like irrational fears that you need to like work out or like work through um they can help you with that so I don't know i just I, I don't want someone that has ever gone through this or goes through this to think that they're alone and i know like a few people in particular have reached out to me when they had a panic attack because um they know that like i have bad anxiety and so and like i'm i've kind of i'm kind of like experienced with this but honestly when you're in that state all like what i do is i just like sit in the corner of my room and like breathe and breathe from my diaphragm and just focus 
on like usually I have like one thing in my hand like say it's like this moisturizer and I'll just like hold this and just like literally read everything on the bottle and just like like breathe into it this sounds so weird this like literally is not scientifically proven at all that's just like what i've done a few times and like whatever object it is don't recommend it's your phone but like I, okay i have a quarter here and just like looking at the quarter and really like breathing like and like only focusing on this quarter like don't focus on anything else like around you or anything like just that one object and for some reason it just kind of like centers you and makes you feel like calmer um highly recommend don't being on your phone um when you're having a panic attack um call a friend um i when i had one in december i called audrey that was really helpful um i highly recommend telling your parents when you're having one because the first few times i didn't tell my parents and i was just like in my room like freaking out um but the times i did tell them it really helped because like it showed them like what I look like when I'm having one. So then like later when I was like, ah, my anxiety is really bad. They're like, yes, your anxiety is really bad. You know, it's not like, oh, well, you're just a teenager or whatever, you know, like they understood. And also it was like, they they gave me support. And it, like, if you, if you don't have that support from a parent, then like definitely call a friend that you can trust or like s someone, anything. Besides that, sometimes you just have to work and breathe through a panic attack. And like, that sucks that like, I guess I haven't found like a perfect cure for one. I don't really think there is one. Um, essential oils help. Like there's all these like little things, but also just knowing that like what you're going through won't last, like, it's horrible it's like a horrible feeling and like pain like it's it, you physically are in pain um but know that this is just temporary and like that is something that like always keeps me grounded is knowing that this is just temporary and it will go away but like anxiety sucks like i know it sucks like especially because i started school like yesterday and like i already felt like that feeling of like oh my god like where am I gonna sit like I feel uncomfortable like what if they call my name wrong like like uh, uh like when am I gonna ask to go to the bathroom like I hope well I hope she doesn't call me for this like this like uh like what if I'm alone when I go and like sit at lunch you know like all these like worrisome thoughts that like oh my god they're so tiring and I'm just like Lucy chill out like it helps that I'm a senior this year because I like don't care as much anymore but like it's like I still get anxious you know like I still have anxiety but it's definitely so much better and like I'm not gonna have to be on anxiety medication my whole life definitely not like my doctors tell me like no this like isn't a like permanent thing but for right now it is like exactly what I need um and some people disagree with that and that's okay but it's like my body my thing like i've had like health problems for like a long time and like i know what works for me and i know what doesn't so yeah but if you do have panic attacks please get help for them no you're not alone i know this is something that people don't like talking about because it i guess shows a weak part of them um some people are embarrassed of it and I hate that. I hate that no one likes talking about stuff like this because I do. Like if someone will talk about anxiety with me, I will go off. I will talk to them forever. Um, but yeah, it can be a sensitive topic. Um, but just know you're not alone. Anxiety isn't a permanent feeling. Uh, the natural state of humans is actually being happy and being i like read a study about it it's actually really interesting so knowing that your natural state is happiness and like contentment and just like trying to get back to that natural state um okay uh thank you guys for watching um i appreciate you listening to me talk about anxiety and all the good things in life um okay thank you guys bye